Uh, my name is Heather Clements. I'm a professional artist and art teacher. I should say more than that, shouldn't I? <laughs> no, that's perfect. That's perfect. I tend to go in medium phases, so I'll be oil painting for a while and then I'll go back to drawing with pencils and then maybe to charcoals and then paper cutting and then oils again and watercolor and usually the medium lasts uh, I don't know, two to four years I'll just be like obsessed and into that medium and then you know there's always something that starts in the back of my head of oh but what about color or but what about more detail than you can do with this so the watercolors very much came out of uh, a yearning for color that I hadn't really worked on in a long time as well as kind of this there was a lot of there was a lot of lack of control in my life in my personal life as well as the world as of recently and I didn't deal so well with that lack of control and so through my art I let go of control purposefully using the watercolor and that medium lends itself very well to a lack of control The Gulf Coast has uh, a lot of dichotomies to it, I think, and one thing after I knew that I was going to live here for a while, um, I started to look for and embrace a lot of the natural environments in the area that even there's people that live here that have no idea about. My art for a long time has been very much environmentally themed and I'm very much exploring the relationship of, of humans and nature. Um, our society a long time ago kind of took this turn where we viewed ourselves as separate from nature and then I think even worse, better than nature. But I also think that there's like a connection that we lost that makes us feel much more isolated than we need to be and so I'm through my art kind of trying to show that connection coming back again and kind of some of the positivity that can come out of that. I use women primarily in my work um, because we're kind of the catalyst for growth, we're the birth givers, and I think often there's a bit more of an openness there. And then I take like a serious sense of responsibility in depicting women because of how women are often depicted and so I try to um, show them very realistically and I include every little you know wrinkle and stray hair and all these things that I find you know not only authentic but beautiful um, and then having the women as these as these catalysts for all this natural growth too.